guys welcome back to the channel it's Shay thanks so much for tuning in again today is a super random upload one I wanted to go ahead and announce my 400 subscriber winners of the giveaway if you guys didn't see in my 2020 vision video I plan to give away a planner for 2020 and I want to go ahead and get that package up and set out by the end of this week so the lucky winner can start using it so we're gonna go ahead and do the drawing for that first I'm gonna be using a fun way to choose this guys I did not have many people people um sign up for the giveaway which one I know I have 400 subscri subscribers and two that video was just posted last week but I did make sure I mentioned to you guys on Instagram and in a previous post that I would be doing a giveaway soon and to stay tuned so don't fear we're gonna be doing plenty of more giveaways on this channel once again the giveaway winner has to like this video subscribe um, you also have to be in the United States. Um, as fortunate as I am right now, I cannot do another international giveaway that, like I did back in the back to school giveaway, but I do plan to do at least one of them next year. And like, subscribe, and you have to do a comment with the yellow heart at the end of the comment. So, we're gonna go in. I only have two people who actually signed up, so that makes it very easy for me. So, as you guys can see, I had two people who entered the giveaway. Um, giveaway person one is Whitney P. I don't know if you guys can really see it. And giveaway two is Air One. So these two people commented, um, they followed all the directions at the bottom. The only thing I will conclude and confirm once this video is done is that they have liked the video, they have, they are subscribed, um, and that they are, are they are a, in the U.S. Their address is in the U.S. in order for me to ship this out. Again, like I mentioned before, I would love to do another international giveaway. Unfortunately, right now I cannot do that at this time, but I do plan on doing another one, hopefully in the year of 2020, at least one. So, we're going to do this with Miss A behind me. If you guys don't know from my vlog, Miss, I did get A. So, Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 2. Your random number between 1 and 2 is 1. Okay, so my random number between 1 and 2 is 1. So if you guys look in my notebook really quick, I don't know if you guys can see it. Whitney P. is number 1. Um, she was one of the first people to comment on here. So as long as she meets all the criteria, congratulations. I will be getting your happy planner um, box set up. And as long as you meet all the criteria, you should have that by the end of the week. So... Now that that's out the way, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do a quick, like, 2020, 2020, 2019 recap because I wasn't going to do this on my channel, but I actually feel like um, I was just seeing a lot of posts and a lot of information about 2019 from different people, and I just feel like I wanted to do a quick recap. So I thought I was going to sit down with my planner and, you know, flip through that and use that to do the recap, but it actually turned out that I can't do that because you guys know um, in April I got Erin Condren. Um, in August, I got a happy planner, and in January, I had my TJ Maxx planner, so everything is just all over the place, but I really want to just say that um, I was very grateful for 2019, and I think the biggest thing that I can pull from 2019 is I was able to face a lot of fears. So, one, first things first, you guys know I started my channel in February of 2019. I've been on YouTube since what 2013 2014 since I was in college that's where I found YouTube and that's where I loved it and I love to watch it there were times I used to record little videos like on my phone on my iPad and everything beauty videos just me talking vlogging and I never posted them because I was so freaking scared y'all I didn't want to you know put myself out there like that for what reason I don't know and as I sit back and I look back I'm like first of all I had content so I don't know why I didn't just post it as much as stuff as is on YouTube, it wouldn't have even mattered anyway. But I'm also very... I'm the most outrovert introvert in the world, if that makes sense. I can be very outgoing, but I'm also a person I like myself. I like my space. That sounded really cocky. I like myself. No, I mean, like, I like being me, and I like my space. And a lot of that came from the fact that when I grew up as a child, although I do have siblings, they were both way older than me, so we didn't all go grow up, like, directly in the household together. I mean, don't get me wrong, we still have those sister moments. But I was basically, if you put it into context as the household, I was the only child. My sisters were adults when I was a child, so... From that, I learned how to do a lot of things on my own, and 
it was just what I'm basically just trying to say guys is that it was very hard for me to sit up here and get on camera I don't know why but I did make that leap that journey that faith that leap of faith that's what I was trying to say I did that in 2019 and I'm very gracious for it um it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would and it helped me as much as other people say my channel helps them it really helped me so that's one thing I can definitely be gracious for in 2019 Another fear that I faced is, while this might not seem like a fear, I bought a new truck. And the original plan for that truck was not to be bought until actually December of 2019. And it was like a, I'm never an impulsive person, guys. It always takes me to go sit back and think before I make decisions. But that truck was a impulsive buy, but it was a good impulsive buy. And it was also a thoughtful impulsive buy because I did go home, think about it, and come back. So many of you guys know I got a 2019 Blazer. Um, I did have some unfortunate events with that towards the end of the year. But regardless, I'm grateful. That was a very big girl purchase. Um, I've had cars before, but this was something different. And if you guys tune into that video, you'll know why it was a different type of purchase for me. Um, the last thing I wanted to basically touch on that was a big fear-driven, um, oh my gosh, crazy decision was I signed up for grad school and I started nurse practitioner school in a million years y'all and this is the way I say it it's always been in the back of my mind I've always wanted to do that even from the moment I decided to be a nurse I kind of was like oh I want to be a nurse practitioner Ooh, a lot of responsibility Ooh, this ooh, that no I knew from the moment I even wanted to be a nurse that I wanted to do this and I even still struggle with it after I graduated as a nurse because you guys know from that video again I I tethered back and forth I thought I was gonna go into informatics I thought I was gonna go into education and it took a wake-up call and it also took some people who talked to me who I wouldn't have talked to otherwise for instance I think I talked in that video guys I went to my neurologist who I've never seen before is my first time seeing her about these random headaches that magically appeared and kept occurring for me in 2019 how did God align for me to have these headaches for my primary to say to go to the neurologist for me to go to the neurologist for her to be the person to tell me I need to go back to school to become a nurse practitioner that is is God. I don't care what nobody say. Who who manifests processes in situations like that to lead me up to that? Did I know a couple headaches led me to making a decision that in the back of my mind I had feared making the whole time? So, I don't know guys. You guys know I get very prophetic and very like, I take situations not for a grain of salt everything is for a reason and I can't believe things aligned the way they did but I'm so happy I started my first semester and I couldn't have been more happier and I'm just very very excited about what is going to happen from not only the things that happened to me in 2019 but things to come I'm very excited for the new year I mean I did have my hardships don't get me wrong every day was not easy in 2019 um I did like I told you guys I had the um unfortunate event with my truck towards the end of the year um I had a lot of moral distress especially at work I'm not even gonna lie to you guys severe moral distress to the point where I thought I was literally gonna quit I didn't quit, thank God, but I found a way to cope and also found a way to um, allow myself to also be more at peace with what I do. Because while I love what I do, it is very... The environment that I'm in is so supportive with the people I work with, but it's very toxic in the situations that happen that a lot of people cannot control. And I'll say it like that. A lot of it has to do with administration and rules and things like that. So, but... The people I work with make it bearable, and I can definitely say that. So, I dealt with a lot, guys, um, in 2019, but it wasn't a horrible year. I've had lessons, very much learned. I've had a couple lessons that God had to knock me up the side of the head with, but I learned some things, and I'm here. I'm alive. I'm grateful. A lot of people, I just seen a post a couple days ago where it says a lot of people will talk about... 2019 about the accomplishments and everything that they went through but a lot of people will literally just be grateful that they made it through alive and while I sat here and I talked about the accomplishments that I made and the decisions that I made there's a lot going on in this world so I can definitely say I'm one of those people who say I just made it alive I made it through 2019 alive and that's basically what I can conclude to so 
Anywho, guys, um, we'll wrap it up. Um, leave down below, how do you guys feel like 2019 treated you? I'm just curious, because I'm getting a lot of mixed reviews. Like, I'll see people post stuff on Facebook, and it seems like it's been, like, a wonderful year. And then I'm hearing other people talk to me, and they're like, this has been the worst year ever. And I feel like I've just had an equal mix. Like, there's some things I didn't like about the year, but I, the biggest thing I'm taking from 2019 is, guys, if you want to do something... I'm telling you, do it. And sometimes, even if you want to do something and you're afraid to do it, do it. And sometimes, I keep saying and sometimes, God is literally going to push you to do what he wants you to do. He will literally, you know how you see like the little cartoon of the person that's like in the background singing and they're like the most wonderful singer and then this other person just comes and pushes them out to the spotlight and lets them do their thing. I feel like that's literally... Like, God's like, you really put me through all this work to make you do what you're supposed to be doing. But anywho, guys, I can, you guys know I can make this a whole coffee talk. I can go into a whole tangent, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to get this video up for tonight. So, in all, it is New Year's Eve. It is our last day of 2019. We are on day 365 of 365, and it has been a lovely year despite the craziness and I just want to wish you guys all the best for the new year thank you for being on my channel thank you for watching my videos um we will be revamping by progress in 2020 so don't think like my first video of 2020 guys is going to be this spectacular thing um I'm going to be doing little revamping but I am I am taking my YouTube journey very much more seriously and I am getting more involved in learning more things for that too so I feel like 2020 I am ready like I hate I know people hate when people talk like this but I'm just like I'm very super excited for what this new year has to come I'm still scared guys I'm still a scaredy cat I don't know what's gonna happen this year but I have I have real good vibes and real good feelings. So, anywho, guys, thank you so much. Wishing you all the best. Don't forget to leave down in the comment box below what your goals are for the next year. Um, how did your 2019 go? And, of course, my giveaway winner. Don't forget, Whitney P., to um, contact me. I'm going to reach out to you, but don't forget... Um, I will check all the criteria as long as you're in all that criteria. Congratulations on your new planner. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye.